Welcome to our channel. I'm Dr. Maria Zizin, a board-certified general surgeon and an IFM-certified functional medicine physician. Today, I would like to introduce you to our new series under the title, Remember. From your comments and also scouting YouTube in general, I noticed that some people like longer and in-depth videos, and some people like shorter videos, but also when it comes to educational content, like the one on this channel, there's a need for essential videos where the topic is explained in a concise way with basic and easy to understand facts within a short time. And that's how our new series, Remember, was born. The goal of these episodes is to provide essential facts in a short form, all under five minutes. And as always, our topics will range from skin health to supplements to functional medicine and the latest research. And I'm also going to continue with our regular videos as well, as I personally like both long and short videos, both as a creator and as a viewer. So let's get started with our first episode in the Remember series. Today's topic, basal cell carcinoma. What is it? Basal cell carcinoma is the most common type of skin cancer. Millions of people are diagnosed every year, and while it almost never spreads to distant parts of the body, it can be very destructive in the areas where it grows. And that's why knowing about this cancer and especially recognizing it early matters. How does it look? This cancer often begins in a subtle way. It may look like a shiny bump, uh, this shiny pearly bump on the skin, a flat pink patch or a sore that just doesn't heal. And sometimes it looks like a pimple or an insect bite that lingers. Over time, it can bleed, scab, or another common scenario where it seems to heal and then comes right back. And that repeating cycle is one of the most important warning signs. How does it grow? Basal cell carcinoma grows slowly, but that slow pace can be deceptive. People sometimes ignore it for months or even for years, as I've seen in our clinic. As it gets larger, it can burrow down into deeper layers of the skin, damaging cartilage and even bone. On areas like nose, ears, or eyelids, this can lead to significant tissue loss and disfigurement that requires major surgery to repair. So while it doesn't usually spread to lymph nodes and other organs, it can still cause major problems. What are the risk factors? The number one risk factor is ultraviolet light from the sun or from tanning beds. People with fair skin, light hair, light eyes who burn easily are at the highest risk, especially if they've had repeated sunburns. But darker skin tones are not immune. Basal cell carcinoma can occur in anyone, particularly with long-term sun exposure. Age. That also matters because it plays a role. It's more common over people uh, over 50, but younger people are increasingly being diagnosed, and that is often linked to tanning bed use, but not exclusively so. How does it spread? One of the differences between basal cell carcinoma and, let's say, melanoma, is that basal cell almost never spreads to distant organs, but that does not make it harmless. I think it's best to think of it as a locally destructive cancer. It stays in one place but gradually erodes in the skin and structures beneath. Left untreated, it can cause major functional and cosmetic damage. How is it treated? The good news is that treatment is highly effective. The standard treatment is surgical removal, cutting out the cancer with a margin of normal tissue. In some selected cases, topical creams or even radiation therapy may be used, but surgery remains the most reliable option. When caught early, the procedure is straightforward. Recovery is quick and the outcome is excellent. So remember, any spot, bump or sore that just doesn't heal or keeps coming back is not normal. Pay attention, especially on sun-exposed areas like the face, scalp and hands. Getting checked early means a quick and simple treatment, and I see that in our clinic when we diagnose and remove it. But waiting means bigger surgery, more scarring, and more risk. With basal cell carcinoma, early action makes all the difference, just like with many other medical conditions. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel for more Remember content. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.